Hello everybody. Assume we have installed NS2 and the simulation model YMAX. What we need to do is uh, in the fourth step, compile the model from the source code to binary executable files. How to do this? Follow me. Go to your desktop, double click SIG1. Then you will start typing CD OPT NS or in one two dot twenty nine and NS two dot twenty nine. Give an enter. Now you can type LS to see how many files here. And uh, then you can type make, which means you compile the binary executable files from the source code. Well, the source code located in different folders. Type make, enter. Now you will see the compilation of NS2 kernel is uh, ongoing. Now you can go back and relax for half an hour or maybe one number depends on the speed of your CPU and then come back we will come back later okay when you see a screen like this it means your installation of this and compilation of NS2 is successful now simply we can try to run a simulation script, go to CD TCL SE four ninety two LS. Now we see we have a, a couple of script files here. This one default file called OFDMA tput distance dot TCL. Another one is extcl.tcl. We don't use this example. We use OFDMA tput distance.tcl. TCL is a, a script language format used for NS2 simulation. What we have done <coughs> is to compile the source code and the module source code into O file <coughs> and this O file are concatenated and linked into simulation kernel. TCL is a shell. To run TCL, <coughs> we use the kernel's functionality, and the scenario will be flexibly adjusted in this TCL file. Another type of a script is called the AWK file. AWK file will be used to analyze the output of TCL file. For example, let's say run one simulation <coughs> NS we call NS2 kernel. Run the script OFDMA tput distance.tcl and we direct the trace information to trac.tr which is a trace file. And in the TCL file, if you are interested, we can have a look. OPNS 2.29 TCL SE 492. This is a TCL file. Let's open the one editor. Then go to the TCL SE four ninety two folder. Four ninety two folder. Then we drag the file into Win Edit. Go to full screen. From here we see this is a scenario file. Define the topology, how many mobile stations we use, when the simulation stops, where the 
mobile station start from uh, from the moving point how many times the ARQ we use we don't use the ARQ what's the career center frequency we use what's the packet size we use and then what's the transmission power antenna gain and then all this configuration for OFDMA configuration for the link layer frame duration frequency bandwidth handoff threshold and all the configuration for wireless interfaces for the for those who are interested in writing TCL script from scratch please refer to NS2 tutorial go to Google ISI dot edu you will find the NS2 TCL tutorial here the most efficient way is to modify TCL files to make it uh, suitable for your simulation scenario rather than design a TCL from a uh, scratch so this is a TCL file finally we have a wireless wired connection and UDP traffic connecting node and wireless node and wired node and uh, configure the traffic okay let's run then you will see the simulation start let me maximize our sequence window it shows simulation start at zero time and the, the update information will be displayed for example at five seconds it will display an update 10 seconds it will display another update information you can stop your inf simulation anytime you want by press ctrl c ctrl c is not copy ctrl c is uh, stop the running process in linux environment after you stopped you type ls to see how many file are, files are there in the directory we see there are two three new files trace.tr is one of the file we use to store the trace information out.tr is one of the file we use to store the output information harq debug is some debug information for hybrid arq we don't use in our class once you get this we want to know what is the throughput between the sender and the transmitter okay we type awk slash f we use the file ymax throughput dot awk throughput dot awk and then you give it the output name out dot tr then you give a number station number by default the station number is y for wise wireless station type enter you will see okay a different second zero to eight second what is the throughput we have at the receiver side how many packets we received the parameter we care is uh, the throughput so in this case we will plot the throughput information go to edit properties buffer size quick edit mode click quick edit mode okay now we can copy data from 
the screen. Copy this data by select the area you want to copy, press enter. After you have copied this, go to your desktop, find a, create a new file, txt file, new txt file, copy your data to the txt file. Then, Go to a desktop, new a file, Microsoft Excel worksheet. Double click it. We will import the data to the Excel file to draw curve. Go to data, from text, click from text button. Go to desktop to select your txt file, new text txt. Import. Then you will see a dialog. In this dialog, click delimited, delimited, which means you need to use different characters to delimit this column and the lines. Go to next. Delimiter, we use space. Go to next. Go default, finish. OK. Now we input the data. We need to draw a figure. I want to see at different time what is the throughput. OK. Select the time zone and the throughput zone. Go to Insert, Scatter, choose a line, solid line, click it, OK. You will see this is the throughput we have for different times. If you don't want to see the, the ending point, the end, because we terminate the program, We just remove it. Use the first seven point. Now let's see our throughput is around 25 mega BPS. Okay. Now let's uh, format this. Select data. Theory one. Edit. Give a name. The name is uh, throughput. Wired to wireless. Okay. And then we need to give a caption, a label for different access zones. Layout. And uh, add access titles, primary horizontal access title. Choose title below axis. Give a time in the unit of second. Then go to access titles, primary vertical title. Choose rotated title. See throughput. Give a unit key BPS. Now we are done. If you want to move the legend. To different uh, location, sure you can. Click legend. See show legend at the top. Now you are done for your figure. This is the result of the simulation.